Since 1800, the global population has risen from just 1 billion humans to over 7.8 billion in 2020. And still, over 4 babies are born every second. That's around 390,000 new humans a day. So on a planet with dwindling resources and an increasing strain on our natural systems, is curbing our booming population the key to solving our environmental woes? Mathematically, we know that more people means more demand for Earth's natural resources. It can actually be simplified down into this equation. Population times affluence times technology equals impact on the environment. So the basic argument that fewer people would mean less greenhouse gases, less pollution, less habitat destruction makes logical sense, but only on the surface. Because notice that other key variable in the equation, affluence. The more money populations have to burn, the more fossil fuels are burned along with it. In 2018, just North America and China were responsible for almost half of the world's CO2 emissions. These are also the countries with the highest concentrations of the world's wealthiest people. And get this, their populations are actually living longer and having fewer babies, so their population growth is slowing down. Now, by contrast, the poorest half of the world, where most global population growth is currently concentrated, produces only 10% of the world's CO2 emissions. And this is because those populations typically lack the technology and wealth that result in high energy expenditure, increased industrialization, and pollution. So in climate change projections that take these imbalances into account, it's been shown that redistributing wealth, so reducing both extreme wealth and extreme poverty, has as much impact on carbon emissions as reducing overall population would. 